What do you think most people get wrong about motivation? They think it's a permanent fix. And like I say, you know, I always tell people, you have to learn to perform without motivation. Just get back to fucking work. It's time to get back to work. Stop hearing yourself talk. Get off the podcast. Don't be on social media too much. Cut out all the fucking noise. Get back to the fucking mental lab. Because that's where the knowledge came from. So the one second decision is... I had to live through that one second decision several times during this race. So this race took me a hundred and some hours, okay? And this is what people don't get. For you to finish that race, even though I DNF'd, I still finished in the time. So there's a lot of pride in that. If you're a hundred and some odd hours, let me use Hell Week, this, this is a perfect example. Hell Week's 130 hours. And 130 hours, is a lot of seconds, a lot of fucking seconds. And if you lose, let's say you win every second but one, you lost. It only takes one second for you to lose the whole thing. So the one second decision is just that. You're in a situation where life is sucking. Let's say you're in extreme cold water and your life is flashing before your eyes. Every time that wave goes over your head, your thought process is, I gotta get the fuck out of this water. And you're in hell week. And you're hour one of 130 fucking hours. It's all fun and games, okay? Because at the beginning of hell week, the guns are going off, it's like a pep rally. So you're fucking hyped up. And your boys are linked arms and you're getting sprayed. And it's like a fucking pep rally. The structure yelling at you, bombs are going off, concussion grenades, blanks from N60s. Yeah, hoo ya, fuck yeah, fuck yeah, yeah, motherfucker, yeah. But then what they do is they shut that shit off. They shut it off. All that hoo ya, all that hype gets real quiet. And they march you out to that surf zone for something called surf torture. And it's that water, that Pacific Ocean is cold as shit. So no more pep rally, you're now in your head, you're linked arms with, you know, your brothers beside you, you don't know if they're going to be there long or not, you don't care, you think about yourself, you lay back and that first wave hits you. Your mind goes straight from hour two all the way to hour 130. You can't process five days of this shit. You're now in a, you're, you're now in a fuck you, like I got to get out of here, you're in fight or flight. It's cold, I can't be cold this long. And then this is where that one second decision comes in. You forgot every reason why you wanted to be there. You don't care about seals. You don't care about any of this. You don't care about fighting for your country. You don't care about that gaudy gold trident that they put on your chest. You don't care about any of that shit no more. All you want to do is go back home. You want the warmth. You may want something to eat. You want your girl to hold you. All those things of comfort are there in that one second. And this is where people lose. So what I do in that one second, because we all think about quitting when shit's hard. But what you have to do in that one second is hard to process information during pain. Because that pain takes over and you can't think rationally. You're thinking about fight or flight, save yourself. That's not a rational thought. It's not a thought that's going to get you through hard times. Most people fail that one second. So what happens, what I do in that one second, it's a, and there's a bigger process to all this, but in that one second, I physically stayed in that water. Because if I get out of the water, I quit. So I physically stay in the water, but mentally, I'm on the fucking beach with the fucking instructors. And the instructors, it's cold outside, so they got these parkers on. They got their cup of fucking Joe and they're warm because they've already been through it. So now it's your turn to go through it. So mainly I get back with them. I'm still in the water physically, but mainly I'm back with them. I'm chilling. I got my parka on and now I'm thinking logically because I'm warm now. Mentally, I'm warm. I've taken that one second. Let's not quit yet, God, because let's fucking think about your options. Where are you going to end up if you quit this shit? Where are you going to go? What are you going to say to yourself? Because you know you're going to get warm. The second you get out of this water, you're going to take a shower and you're going to be warm. 
And you could be, and in five days, you could be out. So I start thinking logically. I calm my brain down because your brain just wants to get the fuck out. Ring the bell, push your helmet down, get warm, and then you're really fucked. And these are the things you have to think about the one second decision. So that's what that's all about. It's about gaining control of your mind, putting things back in the proper perspective, and then saying, I really do want to be here. And I'm going to have a bunch of these one seconds through this 130 hour journey. And I have to learn to control this because if I fail one of these one seconds, I will not be a SEAL. I will not be a doctor. I will not be a lawyer. I will not be whatever the fuck it is. So that's how important that one second decision is. It's all about your mind takes control of you. You have to say, fuck you. I run this motherfucker. And that's what that's all about.